All right, uh, I'm doing a review like AJ does. This is my review of Munchos Potato Crisps. They're supposed to be just like potato chips, except they don't taste good like a potato chip. Um, so here's the story be behind me trying Munchos. It wasn't like I wanted to go and, and I saw them and I was like, wow, those look really interesting. I bet they'll taste great. Let me try them, right? No. Um, the, the way I wind up getting Munchos is I go to 7-Eleven to get one of their dry ass tuna sandwiches, right? That I'm gonna share with Marie. And first of all, Marie notices that the sandwich would be best if sold by Saturday, right? Uh, of course, because today someone is. Someone doesn't check before he buys. Well, I don't think I have to check food all the time. It's like. Of course, you have to check food, especially at a Seven Eleven. I guess I do. I guess I do. <laughs> and, yeah, it says best if sold by Saturday, and I'm like, what the hell? All right. So anyway. So I go, oh, let me get a bag of chips to, to add some flavor to tuna fish because I don't know if you, uh, yeah, I guess I was. <laughs> They're saying I'm taking a risk eating at 7-Eleven. AJ was going to eat the chicken wings. He was going to buy like the 20 piece and eat that every day. He was like, that would be a good deal, right? I'm like, AJ, you're going to die of a heart attack at like 22, you know, but whatever. So anyway, t the tuna is kind of dry and doesn't have a lot of flavor. So I figured oh, I'll get some chips. Add some saltiness to it, right? And I'm looking all over 7-Eleven for chips. And I don't want to spend like $5 on a stupid bag of chips I can get for like $2 at the supermarket, right? So I'm looking, I'm looking. And everything's $4 except the little teeny bags now that are about this big. The little teeny bag of chips, uh, they are now $2, right? But I was going to share it with me. So I go, oh, here's a generic brand of potato chips cold munchos. I didn't realize I had to read the package, just like I had to read the expiration date on the tuna sandwich that I was going to eat. So anyway, I grabbed the munchos, not even looking at it, assuming that they are regular potato chips because, you know, I, and then and then I get here and we open it up and we taste one and she's like, these aren't potato chips, you know, and I'm like, they look like potato chips. She's like, no. Marie, how did you describe the flavor? Well, she didn't describe it as good, I'll tell you that much. She's busy, she's helping somebody. Um, I think she described it as like, if you mash up a bunch of potatoes, and then you flatten them out, and then you bake them in an oven, um, that's what they would taste like. So basically not good. So anyway, I thought Munchos was a generic band of potato chips, and it was not. And now I know why this is $2, because regular potato chips taste good, and this does not taste good. So anyway, AJ, um, that's my review of Munchos fake potato chips. I can I can only imagine how bad potato chips potato chips aren't even good for you. I can only imagine how bad these particular potato chips are. Yeah, look, total fat, 13%. So what's the point? What's the point? Are, did they bake these or something? I mean, if they're not if they've got all this fat and calories, why even bother? Um, basically no nutritional value. Oh, and at least here, there's a number I can call to complain. Not like the 7-Eleven for selling me a day-old sandwich. Um, oh, just, uh, I might as well just call them out. Uh, it's a 7-Eleven in Saddlebrook, all right? And they don't have bathrooms, so you know that too. So, there, I've called them out. Anyway, my review, um, AJ, wait a minute. I'm going to say, at a one, two, three, little bug, four, five, Six, one, two, three, four. I'll say out of five munchos, the review for munchos. Dirty bucket lid. I'm not eating these. I'm throwing them away. Um, so out of five munchos, my review for munchos is that's that's yeah. See this muncho? I'm gonna say half a muncho. Out of five munchos, that's my review. No damn good. Don't buy them. Save you two dollars. Buy the way more expensive potato chips. At least you'll enjoy them. I just want to add that these munchos are so bad that you know how like New York pigeons will eat anything. <laughs> I bet you if I threw this on the ground, they're rats. Marie says they would eat it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think even even pigeons, even New York City rat, flying rats is what they call them. Rats with wings. I think even I think they even have some san uh, standards, and this would be subpar <laughs> for them. You know, you know. So I once saw somebody throw a piece of bologna at a 
a pigeon and it stuck to its wing and it was just walking around like what that. What do you want him to do? I don't know. I he think he would. Fingers we could pull around. And he pull could shake back. his wings and knock it off. Well, He's my a bird with a bird. My point brain. being, birds as dumb as they are, <laughs> even they would scoff their beaks at at this horrible snack that Muncho makes. Yeah. Here we go. I'm in the same exact spot as last year. Uh, I don't know if it's the same number, but I unloaded all my stuff, and now I'm going to go park my car. I'm going to park my car there. Um, it's Harrop, and Market Street. So Harrop and Market Street, that's the corner. I park down here. I'm always in front of this Conoco gas station. This year we came from that way, and check-in is all the way down there uh, where that street, sign, street fair sign is. I'll zoom in, you can see it. It's actually past it. It's in a parking lot. I didn't really film the parking lot, but it's uh, I had to get away at a jogger. But it's it's down. There's a big parking lot there behind a building. So, all right. I got the stuff out. I'm going to start setting up. I don't really expect to get any pickups today like yesterday. This is a street fair. It's not a market. So, Yes, it was kind of a fluke, but all right, let me start setting up. All right, the car is uh, successfully parked where I always park it, right here. That's my space, so that's where my spot is. Uh, just got to do something, and then I'm going to set up. All right, in terms of markets and the space that I get, uh, this one is terribly small, but I'm going to work it. Um, also, I have to deal with an, a dip here because... The road curves that way, and then I have this going on, right? So I have to deal with my tables not being level. And the way that I've dealt with that is I put the tables kind of in the middle of the dip. It, it means I have to go on the, the sidewalk a little bit, but, you know, I'll make the space work. You know, it, being in a driveway, I really don't like, especially a broken up driveway. But it is what it is. All right, um. Oh, and also, I can only get, like, if you go across, I only get one, two, not even three of my full-size tables. So, I'm, I'm going to do something weird. You'll see when I'm done. And I'll see, so I can remember for next year. All right, um, got creative again. Uh, I think this is going to work for me. Here's my tent. What I did was I put my tent to the curb, or to where um, the street starts, right? And I, I, I moved it to where my, uh, the tent would end. So, that's, that's ten feet. Since I'm up on the on the sidewalk and curb a little, I got extra space to go. F uh, so it looks like I'm forward a lot, but I'm not. Um, what I did was I put two big tables here. Space is so freaking small. Two big tables here. One, two. Then I put the smaller table that doesn't fold here. And I put another table behind that there. I'm going to give Marie like a table and a half of jewelry. Uh, games here. I don't know if I'll put out stuff like DVDs. It's pretty pointless. And then I'll put consoles and stuff behind the games back there. Um, over here is going to be CDs, records, and you see I did two big tables flush, the ones that fold, and the two smaller ones um, side by side. And that's about the length of my space. Uh, yeah, starting here. Uh, I'm going to put CDs on these two tables, and then maybe records, you know, here. And then uh, just some cheap games I can put here. And this whole area will be four dollars, three for ten. All right, let's see what happens. Just uh, to fill you in, Steve. Um, this morning I sold another seventy-two out of the records that you gave me. Nothing else, none of the ones that I brought. Only your stuff. So thanks, Steve. I'm glad we did that deal. It's, it's, it's helped me. I know at some point I'm going to get to the point where um, they aren't really selling, but uh, I really appreciate it. it. Turned out to be a good deal for me. Thanks again. Okay, Steve, uh, it's a long, slow day, but I sold another $7 in records. Total today, 79 on the record. So, uh, again, as you can see, not a lot of people here. Kind of a thin crowd. Overcast, but I'm not really going to blame the weather because it hasn't been raining. And it's nice and warm. It says like 80 degrees today, right? You know what? Let me show my space while I'm at it. Okay, crazy weird space today. I basically put two big tables there, two big tables there. Two big tables there, two big, uh, two small table, two, uh, small table, small table, big table, big table. Um, I got out all my CDs. Um, rock on this side, not rock on this side. 
Um, I put these out because I had, the, believe it or not, I had room. I managed, I did pretty good on my space. So I put out all of these nonsense, right? And um, here's, I didn't, I, I put out like the Xbox, the $4 Street for 10, PS3 and Wii, but they're not really moving so much today. Records probably sold better than anything. I didn't sell a lot of games today, right? We're not even making a lot of money today, are we? Yeah, all right, whatever. Uh, how much more time? Let me, you know what, let me check to see how much more time I have for this. That's 109, so I got like three hours, right? Because I'd probably pack at four. Ah, whatever. Marie's reading her book. So here's what I did with the other table. Um, I think I sh Oh, the only thing I added was I added uh, that table right there. So basically I have two big tables. Oh, hi guys. How are you? I got uh, the smaller table that doesn't fold. I'm good. And then I got um, then I got a small table that doesn't fold there and there. My games. And my my other old school games and let me just show Marie's jewelry quickly right there okay that's my space